first thing I'd like to do is please introduce yourself. I'm Nicole Brees. I play for Parkway South High School. The Patriots. Yep. You're a senior, I understand. Yes, I am a senior. Made a recruiting decision already? Yes, I committed to the University of Illinois. Excellent. Yep. Fighting Illini? Yep. Well, that's cool. Well, we'll talk about that in another uh, conversation. Let's talk a little bit about the Patriots. What uh, Describe the team. What do you expect this year? Uh, we have a very young team. There's only uh, three seniors this year. Majority comes from our junior class. We have two twins on our team. Very dynamic. Very what are their good. names? Emily Sanders and Elizabeth Sanders. And they were both goal, high goal scorers for yeah. you last year. We got one that can get those game-winning goals and like help us out in the mm -hmm. clutch. And then they both are very athletic, very can keep the ball and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we had two freshmen this year, um, one being our goalkeeper. She stepped up big time with two se two senior goalies leaving last year. She came in and she had a freshman goalkeeper yeah. last year. She and now she's returning. Goalkeeper. Okay. Yeah, and she's gonna uh, be key for us this year. And then we have a freshman uh, striker named Emily Wilson that came in and she's gonna be key for us too up front. And where will you play? I play center mid and forward depending where they need me. Um, so at number 10? Yep. Playmaker? Yep. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> yep. You have some experience playing that role on your club team as well? Um, I play mostly forward or wing mid with my club team but uh, they wanted a central midfielder and I was right. there to provide so, that for so them. So senior leadership that'll be your role. Who's going to marshal the defense from the keeper? Uh, Holly Urbeck who's a junior this year will help us out in the back and control that and another standards will help us out too. Okay. What do you expect? Who's going to be tough in the uh, Suburban West Conference? Lafayette always has a good Lafayette. team. Lafayette. Yep. They we, got knocked off a little earlier than expected last year. Oh yeah. We, uh, so they'll be hungry. Yeah, definitely. We, uh, they always have a good team, always strong. Eureka has a very strong team. I've been uh, seeing Eureka for years down in Southwest Missouri. They are always impressed. Oh yeah. They've got some really key players, a really tall girl that, mm -hmm. you know, makes it tough for us in the middle. But uh, they'll, they'll be tough, and same with uh, Marquette. They'll be tough, too. Like, those three teams are solid, and but we're ready to go. We're, we're ready to play them. Okay, anytime. well, good luck. Let's, yeah. uh, let's, now let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's talk about you're going to the Fighting Illini. What was your experience in the recruiting process? Um, it was a long process, but it was definitely uh, one to remember. I decided not to play my freshman year of uh, high school and decided to play club soccer. And that's where I first got noticed by Illinois and Janet Rayfield. Mm -hmm. um, they saw me play, playing a year up, thought I had potential, and uh, started to spark some interest in me. Then I like tried to like email back. Of course, mm -hmm. NCAA rules it's kind of right. hard, but I told them what like tournaments and everything I'll be at. And they saw me then. They showed a little bit more interest, and I started going visits, started to meet the team, and we got a little bit of talking when it got closer, and I was able to talk to them more. And then I committed my junior year, October 1st. What type of factors went into picking Illinois? Who else did you consider, for example? Um, I also considered Texas A&M. I considered, oh. yeah, very good school. Uh, considered University of Kentucky um, and Illinois. Those were my top three. Mm -hmm. And Illinois, I shined the rest, and I loved it. And I went on the campus, very, like, big fun spirited uh, campus so Champaign's a great town oh definitely Under, underrated when for all these Como folks oh yeah to think that it'll be right. I try to say like oh go Illini and everybody's like no I'm a zoom like you know <laughs> come on Illinois is good it's awesome um, that's going to be a tough team you're joining uh, they've got a national team player in Vanessa DiBernardo who's who stepped up and uh, Janet Rayfeld you mentioned just came back from uh well, she's with the U.S. under 20s right yeah. now, right? Yeah. Working with them. She's with Vanessa is on that team, uh, helping them out. She went to uh, the World Cup for women's, and mm -hmm. she was like a scouter and helped them out as much as she could and everything. And so she has a lot of national team experience, and she'd be great to help develop me what as a player. What type of role have they talked about? Um, they've seen me. They would like to put me, you know, out wide where I'm comfortable, and mm -hmm. also like up top. They want to see me, you know, take players on one on one and like be a play or try to create things for the team and like really make an impact. You mentioned that you didn't play as a freshman, you played year round ball, much mm. like the Academy boys are gonna be uh, dealing with coming the fall of 2012. What's your advice for these guys? Um, I mean, I would totally recommend it being one that played uh, as my Fort, freshman year. Foregone yeah. high school yeah. ball because of the opportunities for development. Yeah, it definitely develops you, especially if it's gonna be their senior year. I mean, 
high school is awesome. Like you get to play with your team, you get to represent, but there's nothing like that development that you get through club soccer and that competition is always high with uh, club soccer, especially at the academy level. So I think they'll really develop as a player before going into college will be really helpful. Any uh, words of advice for uh, girls coming behind you on the recruiting trail? Any particular thing that stood out for you? Um, one of the biggest things is like really put your name out there, like really go email those coaches, like make your name be heard and then like play on the field, do your game and like be the best you can be because that's all you can do and they'll spark interest, they will and enjoy it. Well I uh, look forward to you making a name for yourself on the pitch this year to the advantage of the Missouri State coaches who didn't recognize you last year. Yeah. I expect to see you on that list. Congrats. Thank you.